On February 4, 1973, the 24-year-old Spankling, a twice convicted felon and an escapee from a California correctional camp, picked up Joseph Jason and Kiewitz, a hitchhiker, while traveling in the Midwest. Both men had criminal records, and both were heavy drinkers. They checked into a hotel room in Tallahassee. After Spankling left to wash the car, he returned and shot Sam and Kiewitz while he slept in bed, once in the head just behind the left ear and a second time in the back. He then told a cover story to the hotel proprietor, paid for an extra day, and left with Frank Broom, another hitchhiker. Spankling claimed that he shot Sam and Kiewitz in self-defense and that he forced sexual relations on him earlier, and forced him to play Russian roulette. He also claimed that the gun went off accidentally during a fight between the two. Less than one week later, Spankling and Bruin were arrested for suspicion of armed robbery in Buena Park, California. The murder weapon was found in an apartment leased to Bruin and others. Upon their return to Florida, both were tried for first-degree murder. Spankling was found guilty and Bruin was acquitted. Spankling was the first murderer executed in Florida, and the second nationwide, following the reinstatement of capital punishment in 1976. Unlike the first, Gary Gilmore, Spankling contested his execution to the end. John Arthur Spankling, born March 29, 1949 in Lamars, Iowa, died May 25, 1979 in Stark, Florida, was the first person executed in Florida and the second nationwide since the reintroduction of the death penalty in the United States in 1976. Unlike the first nationwide since the reintroduction, Gary Gilmore, Spankling fought his execution until the very end. The last person executed in Florida before the reintroduction of the death penalty had been in 1964 and the last one nationwide had been in Colorado in 1967. After serving in a California prison for petty crimes he traveled to Florida with another prison inmate. He was condemned to death in 1973 for murdering a traveling companion named Joseph J. Simon Kiewitz who, Spankling alleged, had offered him homosexual relations and forced him to play Russian roulette in a Tallahassee motel. Spankling's case raised some controversy because he claimed he shot the victim in self-defense. According to Spankling's attorney, there was a good chance the sentence would be commuted. Spankling was offered a chance to admit to second-degree murder and receive a life sentence, but he refused. In 1977, Governor Ruben O'Donovan asked you signed his first death warrant, but the court stayed execution. In 1979, the new governor, Bob Graham, signed the second and... Despite Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, who issued this day, this was the final death warrant. After the execution, rumors spread that the fighting, shouting Spankling was dragged to the electric chair, gagged, beaten, and had his neck broken. The rumors caused Spankling's body to be exhumed for an autopsy and the state further decided to perform autopsies on all executed inmates. Some witnesses believe Spankling was already dead when placed in the electric chair. He is known for his last words, capital punishment them without the capital get the punishment. Later in the spring of 1979, Ted Bundy would occupy the same cell at Florida State Prison as Spankling had occupied.